considered it a politicized discussion on this topic in the Council with a one-sided evaluation of the very difficult situation in this country will not facilitate seeking a peaceful settlement to the crisis in Syria. We are particularly concerned about the appeals uh, for regime change in Syria and uh, for those who advocate the use of force and violence. In we do not approve of armed intervention or imposition of a so-called regime change in Syria. Thank you very much. I give the floor to United Nations Watch. Thank you, Madam President. The nations gathered here, including Syria, have solemnly pledged to uphold the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Yet when a government massacres thousands of its own citizens, innocent men, women and children, it violates that declaration's most basic right, the right to life. When a government turns heavy artillery upon its own cities day after day, it commits inhuman acts that shock our collective conscience. When a government announces it has held a referendum adopting a new constitution, on the same day it bombards whole neighborhoods, killing 138, its cruelty is compounded by cynicism. We ask, does Syria believe the UN will be silent while it commits mass murder before the eyes of the world? If so, perhaps it is because for too long this council turned a blind eye to Syria's gross human rights abuses. Perhaps it is because this council for too long turned a blind eye to re regimes such as Gaddafi's Libya, whose representative was elected as its chair. Sadly, this council allowed Syria to play the role of a human rights champion. For too long, this council adopted Syrian-sponsored resolutions against a neighboring state, a liberal democracy that protects, not attacks, its citizens. We just heard several council members defend and justify the actions of Syria's regime. In doing so, they breached their pledge to promote human rights and place their own membership credentials in question. Madam President, the Human Rights Council has been wrong for so long. As a result, millions have suffered. Today, for the sake of Syria's victims, it needs to right this wrong. As stated in the Universal Declaration, a government that shows contempt for human rights, a government that practices tyranny and oppression, loses its right to govern. Today, it is time for this Council to send a clear message. A government that murders its citizens must go. Thank you, Madam President.